dismissal of Nazimuddin government, anti Ahmadiyya movement, martial law, and dismissal of Nazimuddin government. Nazimuddin, who remained the second governor general and second prime minister of Pakistan, he was a very seasoned politician. He uh, be uh, became uh, second governor general of Pakistan after the death of Muhammad Ali Jinnah. But when on 16th October 1951, uh, when uh, Yaqat Khan was assassinated, um, Ghulam Muhammad convinced him to step down and become the uh, second Prime Minister of Pakistan. So on 19th October 1951, uh, uh, Nazimuddin stepped down and became the Prime Minister of Pakistan and Ghulam Muhammad, who was the then uh, finance minister was uh, rise to the governor general of pakistan he uh, was very decent very seasoned and a very simple politician uh, he uh, ruled over pakistan for few years only uh, from 1951 to 1954 during uh, his time you can see where we found very uh, interesting happenings in pakistan as some of them which were the cause of his dis uh, dismissal as well uh, were the anti ahmadiyya movement in punjab and mashallah in punjab so we will see this too in very brief punjab provincial elections 1951 uh, in 1951 provincial elections were held in punjab and the Muslim League led by Mia Mumtaz Daulatana emerged as witches uh, with the help of um, Ehrar and Abu Al with the government machinery. The uh, Muslim League become witches in Punjab. Uh, Muslim League won 153 seats which later increased to 166. Uh, almost 52% of voters cast uh, their votes. The league won 15 out of 23 urban seats. Mumtaz Daulatana was elected unopposed chief minister and leader of league's parliamentary party. Uh, but Punjab soon faced serious food shortages, uh, partially created by landlords who were hostile towards Daulatana because Daulatana has uh, made policies in favor of agricultural tenants which were not liked by landlords. So they uh, create this artificial food shortages uh, which become a sort of trouble for the Daulatana government in Punjab. The next one was anti Ahmadiyya movement. The Ahmadis are a close kin community who believe that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad uh, was a prophet though subservient to Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Uh, so Ahmadis is a religious community, a close kin community. They believe that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, who was born in India uh, in 1835 and uh, remained till 1908 as a prophet, though they uh, consider him a below rank to the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. This concept uh, of a next prophet was considered blasphemous by Muslims for having infringed about upon fundamentals of Islam because uh, most of the Muslims believe they uh, believed on finality of prophethood, uh, prophethood at Muhammad peace be upon him, and uh, considering a next prophet after Muhammad is con uh, was a sort of blasphemous for their concepts. Uh, so a group of Ahmadis called uh, and moreover sorry a group of Ahmadis who call themselves Lahoris and they are based in Lahore did not subscribe to the claim of prophethood of uh, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad so they were not the targets of anti Ahmadiyya sentiments because they do not consider Mirza Ghulam Ahmad as a prophet. These sentiments uh, had material and political overtones as well because uh, Ahmadis are very influential people, they are very educated people and got, had got very high profile jobs in government. So uh, the uh, some other communities were thinking that if we will uh, blame them as non-Muslims and they will, uh, and if we will attack them, their morale will come down. So there were material and political outcome as well. We cannot ignore those things as well. 
And among Ahmadis, um, the uh, Sir Zafarullah Khan, who was the foreign minister, was the most influential member of this sect and naturally main target of Majlis Ihrar as well. Majlis Ihrar, which had supported Muslim League in uh, the elections, were uh, actually had started this anti Ahmadi movement. The anti Ahmadiyya movement and food shortages caused serious difficulties for Nazimuddin government because the um, largest province of western wing Punjab was under a serious crisis because of food shortages and anti Ahmadiyya roots. So, in early March 1953, anti Ahmadiyya roots erupted throughout Punjab. Uh, when the situation was going out of control on 6th March 1953, the Major General Azam, the area commander, imposed the martial law in Lahore. Uh, General Ayub Khan, who was the commander in chief at that time, proved the point that the uh, army will not let the country to go under anarchy, and so he proved his, the point of General Azam Khan and supported him. Uh, his martial law in Punjab. Nazimuddin slashed the defense budget by one third due to stringent financial conditions. That was the another uh, reason uh, for his removal because army was going against him since he has slashed the budget uh, uh, defense budget by one third. Actually, Nazimuddin had slashed this uh, budget by one third due to stringent financial conditions of the country but this uh, action annoyed the military leaders and the stage was set for action against Nazimuddin. <laughs> Nazimuddin uh, considered to uh, recall governor general when he was dismissed um, because he uh, Nazimuddin still enjoyed the con con conference of constituent assembly being a simple man, he let Ghulam Muhammad to strike first. On 7th April 1953, he was summoned by Ghulam Muhammad along with his cabinet and ordered to resign. Governor General had acted under the Section 10 of the Adopted Government of India Act 1935. He, try, uh, he Nazimuddin, tried to plead to uh, Buckingham Palace, but uh, he was told that uh, the foreign uh, telephone line was not working and even the British High Commissioner avoided to get uh, avoided getting into this situation. So Nazimuddin was uh, made helpless although he was having majority conference in Constituent Assembly uh, even and then he became victim of bureaucratic military cope and he had to left his post. <laughs>